Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's budget video. So for today, we're gonna to be setting up our budget for the month of September. And this looks a little bit different because I am actually going to put my monthly budget, weekly check-in, sinking funds, all that fun stuff in these blank pages over here. So I have sort of a whole plan for the most part. Some of the stuff I'm still trying to figure out so I will go through my whole thought process with you guys but yeah let's go ahead and get started I am going to use the decorative budget inserts that match this kit so kit 37 budget inserts there are very neutral budget inserts that you can use and then there's also the decorative option and I personally really like the decorative option that's how I've always budgeted it just kind of keeps me interested in all that good stuff. So anyways, what I'm gonna do, super simple, I'm just gonna go over to this first page here because this is where I'm gonna put my monthly budget. I do not think I'm gonna use the actual monthly, hello, <laughs> my camera likes to get all blurry sometimes. But anyways, so I don't like to use the, um, or I'm not sure if I'm gonna use the monthly view over here to track expenses because we are going back to cash which I will go over in just a little bit so all right so we're on this first page now and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up my files over here just do a little split screen and I already have the landscape kit 37 budget inserts pulled up so I'm using a landscape planner, so I'm gonna to wanna to use the landscape insert. And I personally really like to use just the basic budget plan. I find it to be very simple and straightforward. So that is gonna be my monthly budget. And I'm just going to stretch it out to the size that I want and kind of place it where I want it to be. That looks good to me. So. For section one, that's gonna be my monthly budget. Section two is going to be my weekly check-in. And so this is where I'm kind of thinking of doing things a little differently. So I'm thinking I might do the spending tracker with the cash envelopes because, and let me see, how many cash envelopes actually am I gonna need? I'm gonna need um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think eight. Well, and let me see. So I was thinking, okay, so mm, <laughs> how do I want to do this? Or do I want to use a transaction log? So I have some categories like Costco that we're gonna use our Citibank card for Costco purchases and gas. And so I'm not sure that I want to just, I might just do a transaction log for that. Let me see here. Um, and I might do transaction log. Oop, this little guy is falling down on me. Make sure that works okay um, I might use transaction log 2 let me see so transaction log 2 yeah it kind of goes over the balance or what I want to do transaction log 1 category description might Okay, so I have the cleaners, so I wanna track that. And this is where the monthly view kind of comes in handy. So I wanna track cleaners. I'm just looking over at my little rough draft budget here. So I wanna track cleaners. I wanna track Costco. Date night, family fun, gas, groceries, household my money and budgeted so yeah that'd be eight right one two three four five six seven eight oh and then unbudgeted nine for unbudgeted 
So you know what I might do? I might just, because let's see, there's one, two, three, four that I would use that are, yeah. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do, you guys. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the spending tracker with four envelopes. And that is going to be for the unbudgeted, for the cleaners, unbudgeted, cleaners, Costco, and gas is what I'm going to track here. And then I'm going to pull my cash envelopes, just basic cash envelopes here for um, date night, family fun, groceries, household, and my money. So that's five. So we'll do five cash envelopes. So I'm going to pull that over. It's stuck in my iCloud. There it goes. So I'm going to pull that over here. And actually, do I want to flip-flop those? I might want to flip-flop those. Yeah, I think I'm gonna cut this because those turns out, yeah, okay. All right, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I promise I know what I'm doing. Okay, so we're gonna do our cash envelopes here. And I think instead of doing a full on weekly check in, I'm just gonna erase like the starting balance and stuff and just kind of mark what week it's for and kind of update it because I don't need to keep every single weekly check in you know, and then I'm gonna do my spending tracker right here. So that way I can track all the rest of the categories and stuff. So that's what I'm gonna do. So we'll do cash envelopes, spending tracker, and then I wanna do sinking funds. And I have 16 sinking funds, and I really like using the tall um, envelopes. So let's see. I want to just do eight and eight. Yeah, why not? We'll just do eight and eight. So I'm going to pull sinking funds over. And then what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to duplicate this page versus pasting another one of these on and actually. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do that with this too. Cause okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate page two, section two, because I want to, I'm going to delete this and then I'm going to pull this over back over here because in my little dashboard, I'm just going to have categories like under two. I'm going to have monthly budget under one, weekly check-in under two, and then sinking funds under three. So on three, I want to put my sinking funds and I'll just duplicate the page. And then I can just manually scroll through. That's the way that I'm gonna do it. You don't have to do it that way. You could do an individual page, especially if you have the space for it. Um, but I'm gonna duplicate it that way. So when I'm anywhere in my planner, I can know, okay, one is my monthly budget, two is my weekly check-in, three is my sinking fund. So I can tap on three. It's gonna take me to my sinking funds and I just scroll over. So that's kind of the way that I'm gonna do it. And then I'm gonna put my business budget under section four. So I'm gonna get my business budget pull that over here. So I don't really share my business budget on my channel at all. I do have, I believe, um, a business budget, just high level overview video that I did. So you can check that out if you're interested. Okay. And then that is pretty much it for my business budget. And sorry, I kind of don't really know where I left off because Andrew called me, but so I have my business budget under section four. I have sinking funds under section three and you can always see which section you're in with this little um, like header up here where it says three of 10, three of 10. So sinking funds, I've got my weekly check-in stuff right here. And then I also have my monthly budget. So all of that is set up, ready to go. 
So the next step is going to be to fill in our budget. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, so as far as income is concerned, let me flip this back over. We have my business income for August. So I look at, you know, what was my total gross income minus my expenses minus my taxes, whatever my take home pay is, that is what we consider our income. So I add that all up for August and then on September 1st, whatever our take home pay was for the end of the month, that is our income for September. And I don't share any income numbers or anything like that. And then I also put miscellaneous in here. So I'll put a little section for miscellaneous and then we come down to our bills. So anything with a due date is what I put in the bills section. So on the first, we have our mortgage and our mortgage is $1,571.78. And then also due on the first, we have our HOA and that is $122.95. And on the first, we also have our solar panels. And that is 183.42. That is technically a debt, and Andrew and I have talked about starting to pay that off early starting in 2023 so we want to pay it off to really get the full benefit of having solar panels we've noticed our electric bills going down but obviously with the loan for the solar panels that kind of offsets it a bit so we definitely want to pay those off as quickly as possible i want to say the balance of them is around forty thousand dollars so not cheap at all, but if we're able to kind of aggressively pay them off, then it'd be pretty amazing to not have any sort of energy bill whatsoever. I wanted to mention too that when you're working with inserts, it's best to turn images off for your lasso. That's how I'm able to move my handwriting around on top of the insert. If I have images on and I try to move this, it's gonna pull up that whole insert, see that? So what you're gonna wanna do is make sure images is checked off and you're good to go. All right, so moving along, we have water and trash due on the 6th and I actually received the bill for that so I know the exact amount, which is nice. And that amount is $95.30. And then on the sixth, we also have our electric bill through APS. And as I mentioned, that has started going down. So we have 128.29 is our bill for APS. And that should continue to go down, which is gonna be really nice. And then on the 13th, we have Southwest Gas. And I think I forgot to take myself off of Do Not Disturb, so let me go ahead and do that. Do Not Disturb. Okay, so Southwest Gas is $25. Then we have State Farm, which is life insurance for Andrew, my husband. That's due on the 15th. It's part of the reason why I figured I wouldn't do a monthly view because for bills, I can just check them off. There's a column here to check it off when it's paid. And then we're using mainly cash for things. So I think this will work out pretty well. And then on the 15th, we also have Safeco Auto. We did discover that the savings was not near as much as what we originally had thought for the auto payment and it was just getting funky. Like if you go in, like they charged us one month for a normal bill 
and it just didn't make any sense so I was like you know what the savings isn't that awesome like let's just pay it monthly just to simplify it so now it's gonna be a bill versus a sinking fund it used to be a sinking fund when we'd pay every six months but there's very very minimal savings I mean I'm talking like $12 and the way they have it set up is just really weird so to avoid the confusion um, I decided to just pay it monthly and then we have my ortho payment on the 20th I'm actually gonna see what the balance is of the ortho and I might pay it off early just to kind of get rid of that monthly expense then on the 20th, we also have CenturyLink, which is our internet provider. And that is $65 per month. Massage Envy, I'm actually gonna go and cancel that. Pretty soon, because I have like you can um, use your massages and your credits, like I think it's up to 90 days after you cancel or something. So that's gonna be my plan, is just to kind of use them up. Because their rates did go up by $10, now it's $75 a month, and we're gonna be putting Jules in preschool pretty soon, and the kids are in lots of activities, so we figured, you know, we kind of want to live more minimally, and that includes our budget, and so, we're gonna do that. Um, and then on the 20th, Maddie has Taekwondo. Worth every single penny, let me tell you. She's a different kid since she started Taekwondo. And that's 175. Just teaches them like, you know, to focus and gives them confidence and stuff like that, you know, so. Um, it's really fun to see her just being, you know, proud of herself. She got to go to her first Taekwondo class with her orange belt and she was so proud of herself. So that was really fun. And then on the 22nd, we have our gym membership, which I'm just going to write gym. And that is $60. It's usually a little less than that, but sometimes Andrew will get like a protein shake or something while he's there. So I just bump it up a little bit just in case or you'll get like the girls smoothies and stuff. And then on the 23rd we have Banner Life, which is my life insurance. And that is $22 and 22 cents. And then lastly, on our last little line here, we have T-Mobile, which is our cell phone provider. And I budget $150 for that because I feel like it changes every single month. And so I like to have a little bit of wiggle room. So that takes care of all of our bills. So as I mentioned, as they're paid, I will check that off and then put the actual amount in and everything. So that will work out nicely. And then um, let's go ahead and put the total. So our total bills for September are $3,000. $76.34, so total bills. And then we'll move over to expenses. So for expenses, we have Andrew's money. So this is like his, um, his pocket money basically. And he's getting 160. And then we have the cleaners, which I think we are probably going to not have them come anymore once Julia is in preschool because Andrew will have more time to clean and stuff. So that will work out good. So we're budgeting $400 for that. They're super, super nice. So I, I like love using their services and stuff. Um, so I feel bad, but you know, if Jules is in preschool during the day, Andrew can clean and then we kind of came up with a whole like cleaning schedule and I like put time into my day to get cleaning done. So I'm sort of in charge of upstairs and he's in charge of downstairs and that splits it up really nicely. So 
that's a big expense and if we can eliminate it and kind of manage our time better and get things done while both the kids are in school to me that makes sense to do that plus that offsets the cost of her her preschool because it's not free so all right and then we have Costco so we finally put a actual Costco you guys if you've seen my budget videos before you know <laughs> Costco has been a pain point so we set a budget for it for monthly $500 and that includes food and household items because there's quite a few household items we get from Costco we do get Julia's pull-ups from Costco and um you know, toilet paper, paper towels, laundry detergent, things like that we get from Costco. So that's what we're gonna do for that. Um, so we have an actual budget there. Andrew also, so when we got our solar panels, we got a $1,400 gift card for Costco. We went through Costco to get our solar panels. And Andrew used that gift card to get himself a Traeger, which I am super excited for. And so he's gonna get all of the pellets and stuff he needs for that from Costco as well. So all of that will come out of that budget. And then we have date night. So Andrew and I decided together that we wanted to really prioritize date nights and we decided to eliminate our eating out category as well as our entertainment category because we also have family fun which kind of serves as entertainment, but when we go do stuff like that, like date night, and we go to like the movies and stuff, we're typically eating out around then too. And we're just not really big eater outers, you know? Um, th we've definitely gone through periods where we eat out a lot, usually if we're just super busy and stuff, but for the most part, we're really trying to cook a lot more at home. And then we just really wanna make sure that we're prioritizing time together as a couple and that we're going and doing fun things as a family and stuff like that. Like in general, we just need to live our lives more. It's been a lot, like Andrew and I are both very goal-oriented people and we tend to be very like all business all the time and we need to go have more fun as a family and go out for dates and all that kind of stuff. So if we get a babysitter, that'll come out a date night. So we should be able to go on two decent dates a month is kind of our thought and then go on a couple family outings. And if we decide to go get ice cream as a family, that will be family fun. If Andrew and I decide to go get ice cream, just the two of us, that would come out a date night. So that's gonna be a cash category. And I will be stuffing cash envelopes with you guys here in just a moment. So that's kind of how we're doing it. And then we've got gasoline. And for us, it still hasn't gone down at all. So we're gonna budget $200 for gas because we're gonna try to get out more <laughs> and do more fun things. So I feel like that budget will be good. And then groceries. We had a really good message at church about the importance of just like getting out into the world and all that kind of stuff. And it really, I felt very convicted about it because it can get very comfortable being home all the time and like doing grocery pickup and stuff like that. And so for me, one of my goals is to actually go out and go in the grocery stores more. And so we're budgeting $100 cash per week for groceries because we also have this Costco budget. So with all of that combined, um, we should be good to go. But my goal is to actually go in the grocery store with my cash and buy my groceries. Yes, it is way less convenient, but I think it will be better for my mental health to do that, to just get out more and be among people, especially working from home and stuff. I just think it's really important. So that's kind of a goal. And we really tie our budget into our values and our priorities and our priorities do shift from from time to time. Our values don't, but our priorities definitely shift from time to time. So right now that's a priority um, to, you know, get out more, use cash, kind of really, you know, be more disciplined with our budget and stuff. So I think that will work out pretty nicely. And then we do have a separate budget for household because I usually like to go to like Target or Fry's and get our household items. Target carries all of the, um, I don't have it next to me, but I think the brand is called Method or Mrs. Meyer or something. I really like their products. 
And then we usually go to Fry's for like floss picks for the kids and stuff like that too. So, um, so yeah, a hundred dollars, which is twenty dollars per week cash. And Maddie's commission money, she's been really into doing chores and stuff. So this is not an allowance that she just automatically gets. She has to earn every single one of those dollars and she does that by doing extra chores around the house. So there's things that the kids are expected to do. They're expected to make their beds. They're expected to keep their bedrooms clean. They're expected to pick up the playroom and they're expected to help clean up after dinner. Those are all just part of being part of the household and stuff like that. But if Maddie wants to help me by cleaning the patio you know door or cleaning baseboards or something like that she is in charge of that she can ask me you know mom is there something i can do to earn money and if she does it and she does a good job then we pay her and all that kind of stuff so um so we take out twenty dollars in singles and basically to keep it really simple for every extra chore she does depending on how like difficult of a chore it is we usually just pay her a dollar. Sometimes it's two dollars, but most of the time it's just a dollar. So that's what that is. And then we have piano. So we just go to a lady who lives in our neighborhood and offers private lessons and we pay her cash. It's $20 every Monday and Thursday. So that's $180 for piano. And then we did cancel swim for Julia. I think I talked about this in my monthly plan with me, but we did cancel. She can go to classes up through September 27th. And then when we get back from North Carolina, she's going to start preschool. So um, swim is not part of the budget anymore. And then there is my money, which I will be using mainly for like going to get pedicures. And then if I decide, that's the other thing. So with our pocket money, if we decide on our own individually to go get something to eat, that would come out of our pocket money. So I get $160 as well. And then we have unbudgeted. And that is $0. So that takes care of our expenses and the total for that is 20 or $2,620. And then lastly up here for the other section we have sinking funds. And we have our emergency fund. We're actually working on creating like a year emergency fund so I'm just gonna put emergency and center that and then for sinking funds we're putting a total of two thousand eight hundred and twenty five dollars and then I don't share what we're putting towards our emergency funds if you did some simple math it'd be pretty obvious what our you know total income is so Total other, um, I'm going to leave blank because, yeah, we um, don't share the emergency fund numbers. So that takes care of the budget for the monthly budget page. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to set up our sinking funds. So I'm going to actually speed this part up because I'm going to title all of these and then I'll save the titles um, as an element and that way it'll be a lot quicker to pull them in next. But I'm gonna use the Better Together font and then I'm going to actually make that a centered deal, line it up there, and then we'll put Beauty and I'll make that a little bit larger. But yeah, I'm gonna, I think that's good. I'm going to put that there. So that's what I'm going to do for all of them. I'm just going to copy and paste this now and title all of the sinking funds and then we'll go through and um, put them all in. So I will be back with you in just a moment.
so now I have all those titled. So what I'm gonna do just to show you guys how this works is I am going to circle all those with my lasso, do add element. I'm gonna do new collection and I am going to do sinking, sinking funds and create. And then I'm gonna also add this page to um, to my elements. And then that way I don't have to type them all in again. I can just add them to the sinking funds and then they're good to go. So, and then I'll do the same thing when I put my categories on my envelopes, I'll do the same thing. So that way I never have to type everything in again. So our starting balance for everything is zero. So I'm gonna go ahead and just write um, zero there, and then I'll go through and I will um, add that into each envelope for time's sake, time's sake, just whenever you know I get a chance. So I'm gonna actually do fill color off, and I'm going to make a circle and then a little line and kind of make it look a little nicer that way. So I'll go and do that on my own time, but I'll go through and put, you know, what we're adding. So um, 901 and I'm gonna put deposit and we are depositing into beauty $100. Ooh, I feel like I'm writing a little bit sloppy, $100 which makes our balance $100. Then I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste that for each one so I don't have to rewrite it every time. In fact, I could just do this. Copy all that. For birthdays, we are depositing $300 and that is because we have quite a few birthdays coming up. We have my birthday coming up tomorrow by the time you guys are watching this. And then we have Julia's birthday coming up and my father-in-law's birthday coming up. So we wanted to put a good amount in there to get started. And by the way, the reason why these are all zero is because we basically decided to reset our entire budget. We changed so many categories and then we also used some excess from our sinking funds to pay off some medical bills because those have continued to pour in from my surgery. Believe it or not, it's really irritating. <laughs> um, so, and we're not done yet. We still have more to go. But yeah, so that's kind of why all the balances are zero. It's like we're just basically starting over with our sinking funds. So to us, it was worth it to do that. We really went through each sinking fund and evaluated you know, what we wanted to keep, what we wanted to add and change and all that kind of stuff. And so that is why we decided to do that. Okay, so those are all taken care of. So 250 for car maintenance and that includes car tags. Our car tags are due like every two years and it's only $100. So we figured we just take it out of car and kind of lump everything together to simplify. So those are all good to go. Christmas is getting 250 as well. And then clothing for Andrew. So let's put that in. He is getting $50. Which brings his balance to $50. And then for the girls, we're putting $100. For me, I'm getting 50. I am working on getting healthier overall and losing weight, so I'll probably need to get clothes at some point, but I do have some clothes in my closet that I think will work for quite some time, so I'm just putting 50 in there. And then family pictures, we are not sure now if we're gonna do pictures when we're in North Carolina. So we might wait till the springtime and so we're just gonna put $50 in there. Uh, 
they are extremely expensive, let me tell you. <laughs> so I think we might wait and just take them in the spring. We have a neighborhood friend who does family photography and yeah, so I think we're just gonna wait until later on to do that. So that takes care of those sinking funds. And then on this next page here, holidays covers, Halloween, Easter, all that kind of stuff. It's just nice to have some money set aside for those things. So $100 for holidays. And I wouldn't say we're like full on minimalists or anything like that, but we're definitely being a lot more intentional with what we're getting for the kids as far as like Easter baskets and Christmas presents and things like that. We just wanna keep clutter out of our home as much as possible because we all as a family feel so much better when there's less clutter in our home. So house maintenance is gonna get 250. So I think for Christmas, we're really gonna focus on like going on a trip somewhere and just like gifting experiences more than anything. And there's, you know, the want, need, read, wear thing. And I've honestly taken it too far sometimes. Like the want will turn into like three different things and so I'm gonna be working on you know doing a better job of just really doing one thing for each of those categories so like the read I think I got both the girls like five books they only need one you know we've been trying to go to the library a lot more lately and it's just part of that whole thing of like getting out more and like going to do more fun things and we're very lucky to have a really nice library close to us so Medical is $500 that we're depositing because let me tell you, <laughs> medical is insane. Our insurance is awful and we need to shop around once open enrollment starts and everything. So it's, I can't talk about it because I just get too mad. So miscellaneous is 100. This just covers any like random things. Like for example, this month we had to buy Maddie a new weapon for her Taekwondo class. They, in each cycle, they have a different weapon. And so she got a staff, like a, like a rod type of deal, which I'm a little nervous about, to be honest with you, but we told her like, you cannot play with this. It's taller than she is. We're like, you can't play with this in the house. I don't know how it's gonna work, but we had to buy that for her and it was $40. So miscellaneous will cover just random things like that. It's always nice to have a little bit set aside you know, just in case something random like that pops up. Puppies, this covers all of their like food and toys and bones and vet things and stuff like that. So we're putting 150 in there. For school, that covers like field trips and book fairs and lunch money. We've started giving Maddie money on her lunch card more regularly because once a week we want her to be able to go and like pick out her own lunch and like she looks at the menu ahead of time and decides, okay, this is the day I wanna eat at school and then we pack her lunch the other days. So this covers like all of that as well. And we're putting $50 into school. And then the last one, no, not the last one. Second to last one is subscriptions. So for subscriptions, that's like Amazon Prime, the FitBod app that I use for working out. We use Headspace for meditation, just random things like that. And that is $25 that we're putting in there. And then the last one is vacation. And we're putting quite a bit into vacation because we're going on vacation um, October in, in October, October 1st, we're gonna leave for North Carolina. That's where my father-in-law lives. And so we're gonna go visit him and his wife and just spend time with them for his birthday and everything. So we're putting $500 into vacation and then we'll probably put another chunk at the start of October. So that takes care of that. And it's kind of nice because our airfare is good to go. We bought our tickets quite some time ago. Um, and then we're actually staying with family at their house. So that'll work out really nicely. All right, so that takes care of our sinking funds. Those are all set to go. 
and the last thing to do is to do our cash envelopes so let me pull this little page up here and we will get those filled so I've got this big um, envelope from Chase and we're gonna put all this cash away together and I'll show you how I'm kind of managing my cash envelopes so the first thing I'm gonna do let's see I think I'm gonna just okay so let me show you first how I'm managing my cash this is a clutch wallet I want to say it's the Chloe clutch I could be totally wrong I got it at the outlet the fossil outlet store and um, it basically has spots like where you can put your most used cards and then there's spots in the back where I have like my voter ID my library card a little coupon card um, or like fries card and then in this little zipper section here is where I have my ca my cash envelopes so um, I'm only going to carry some of the cash with me at a time I don't need to carry all of it so my plan is to use this little guy right here just a regular little zippered envelope thing that has dividers in it as well and that is what I will use for that and we keep this in our safe so when I need to go grocery shopping I'll just take money out of here and put it in my wallet that way I'm not carrying all of that cash around with me at once and then we put all of Maddie's um, allowance money just in this little pouch right here um, so let's go ahead and get started let's start by doing date night so that's gonna be 200 or actually let me start with Maddie's piece of hair randomly there let's start with Maddie's um, money so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen and twenty so as I mentioned we just kind of fold that up and put this here and we keep that in one of our drawers in the kitchen and then as she does chores Andrew and I just take money out of there okay so date night let's do 20 20 40 60 80 100 20 40 60 80 and 200 and this will all get I feel like the, these videos will get quicker um, as I'm like kind of getting used to all of this but I'm gonna just put that 20 behind the not grocery divider see you guys I'm telling you um, date night behind the date night divider <laughs> there we go date night divider Whew. okay we can do this we can do this family fun 20 40 60 80 100 20 40 60 80 and 200 it's amazing to me how quick the time goes though like I've already filmed close to an hour's worth of footage and it's insane to me okay so family fun is just gonna go behind that divider there so that's all good and then we've got groceries so groceries is 20 40 60 80 100 I'm gonna set that aside cuz I'm gonna put that in my wallet and then 20 40 60 80 2 20 40 60 80 3 20 40 60 80 4 20 40 60 80 and 5 did I hang on 100 20 40 60 80 2 20 40 60 80 3 20 40 60 80 4 20 40 60 80 and 5 okay so I want to make sure I did that right okay so this $400 is going to go behind the grocery divider right here and then we have household so again I'm going to put actually let me just put this in my wallet now because I don't want it to confuse me so I'm gonna put this in my wallet right here right behind that little divider it's gonna go right in there and then I'm gonna set aside 20, put that in my wallet, and then 20, 40, 60, and 80 is gonna go in this big envelope right here. So household. That way Andrew can access the cash too. That's why I like to kind of keep everything in here. Um, so that is all set. And then I'm gonna put this $20 in here. So right behind this household divider 
is where that's gonna go. And then I have a divider for family fun and date night. I also have a divider for deposit if we need to deposit cash back into the bank or anything. And then my money, which my money is 160, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, and 60. I am planning to use some of that to go get a pedicure. So that or I'll use birthday money for a pedicure, we'll see. But that is gonna go under the my money tab right here. That's good. And then the rest should just be piano. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, and 80. I'm gonna grab a paper clip and a post-it. And we will, I'll give this to Andrew. Um, so piano money, cause next time he goes to piano with Maddie, which will be today, the day you guys are watching this. He'll just bring this with him and pay her for the month of September. So piano money, and then I will get a little paper clip and I will give that to him. So that will be good to go. But yeah, I believe we got everything. So my wallet's all set to go. So I'm going to zip this up and close that. This is filled, this will go in our safe. Maddie's commission and then the piano money. <laughs> so that's how we've got everything. I just take out all the cash we need for the whole month. We're good to go. That way we don't have to make multiple trips to the bank or anything like that. But I'm really excited about this. Um, you know, I'm trying to limit like Amazon purchases. I know it's so convenient, but like if I want to go get something, I want to like, instead of just click like buy now on Amazon, I want to go to the store and like go pick it out. So um, it's something that we've actually been doing for practically the whole month of August. And it's been, it's been great, like honestly, there are times that I'm like, God, it would be really nice and convenient just to like order this on Amazon and stuff like that. But we just need to get more like out and about and like into the real world. <laughs> I feel like that's kind of where we're at like headspace wise. But anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for my budget video. Another long video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. But like I mentioned earlier, it should go faster next time because I will have all the headings like in there ready to go and it should be good, but I'm really excited for this setup. Oh, the one last thing I wanted to do too. Where did I put my Apple Pencil there? Woo, there it is. Okay, um, I wanted to go to my dashboard and put in, there's my budget sticker book. I wanted to put in my little index labels, which these are in the budget sticker book, which is available in my shop as well. There's a bunch of stickers here. I have a whole walkthrough video if you want to check it out, but I'm going to do my monthly budget and these are just like, um, stickers. So I'm going to just drag and drop that over. We'll do my monthly budget right there. And then I'm going to have my weekly check-in. And again, I'm just gonna kind of erase um, that kind of stuff. So I think I'm just gonna put weekly check-in. Like I'm not gonna have a week one, week two, week three. I, I will video-wise, but um, other than that. And then I have sinking funds. So I'll pull that over. And what was the last thing? Business budget. Business budget. So I'll set that up off camera at some point. And then that takes care of that. So again, when I tap on these little buttons here, one, it's going to take me to my monthly budget. If I tap on two, it's gonna take me to my weekly check-in. Tap on three, it's gonna take me to my sinking funds. Tap on four, it's gonna take me to my business budget. And then these links over here 
work as well just for really quick access from any page at all. So yep, yeah, that is pretty much it though. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this full detailed setup and everything. I'm really excited about this. I feel like it's going to work out really, really well for me. So let me know in the comments down below how you like to budget. Do you like to budget in the, like an app, like every dollar or Excel or pen and paper or digital like this? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you have any like big financial goals or anything budget related that you want to share, I would love to read all about it. So definitely do that. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to catch all my future videos and I will chat with y'all later. Bye.